You all ready? Yeah. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention it. So maybe I'd better. Prices have doubled around here since last year. It's six dollars now. Wait. Of course, sir. Maybe you'd rather walk back to Jefferson than to pay two more dollars. But maybe the boy and that other fellow wouldn't. That boy. That boy is just a child. Now, surely for a child. Now, walking back to Jefferson might be lighter for it, but it won't be no shorter. All right. What about this other one? When you wash that mud off, he ain't even white. And both these mules are colorblind. <laughs> I tell you, the highway to Memphis. Golly. She's all yours. Look. Motorcycle. Now, just don't get the idea you're a 40 mile an hour railroad engine. Let her rip. Don't gawk, Lucius. Concentrate on your driving. Lucius, this is kind of a boarding house. You're going to like it here. I got a letter last week from one of the girls there, one of the ladies that works, that's staying here. And uh, she's got her nephew visiting her, so you're even going to have somebody to play with. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Don't mind me. And, uh... I mean, it's usually pretty lively here, you know, with conventions and uh, things. But it's quiet now. This is Sunday. Maybe they've all gone to early prayer meeting. No, I don't think so. They're probably uh, resting. From what? <laughs> all right. Out. Come on, get out. <laughs> Now, if you figure on going home with us tomorrow, you'll be here at the stroke at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. And I mean the first stroke. 
because I ain't going to be here to hear the last one. You can finish your business by 8 o'clock in the morning. How come you think I can't either? <laughs> <laughs> Lucius, here, you keep this for me. You may lose it someplace. Now, when I need some, I'll tell you how much to give me on it. Hmm? child in tow. Come in, Boone. Lucius? Hmm? This is Miss Reba, so make your manners. How do you do, ma'am? Well, I'll be damned. Did you see that, Minnie? <laughs> but I don't know what to say to you, Boone. Our Mr. Binford has strong feelings against having children on the premises. He says they'll be in here soon enough anyway. So why not at least wait until they have some jack and are capable of spending it? Well, what do you want me to do? Tie him out in the yard? Oh, of course not. Let's see if we can find a little corner for him. Now, you both go up and take a nice, warm, sudsy bath, and we'll see what we can work out. Oh, Minnie, go up and tell everybody to stay out of the bathroom for the next half an hour. Where's Corey? She's in the parlor, changing the piano roll. Hello, Boo. Hiya, kiddo. Lucius, come on down here, honey. I'd like you to meet someone. Corey, watch this. Lucius, this is Miss Corey. How do you do, ma'am? <laughs> what do you think of that? <laughs> All right, go get cleaned up now. Go on, Lucius. going to roll around in any bed with you and let you nibble my ear and tell me silly things. I'm staying with my plan. Plan's crazy. Always was, always will be. There's nothing crazy about it. My sister Alice is married and has three children, and my cousin Edith is married and she's got four children. I'm the last one on the vine. You still think you're going to get married out of this place? All those girls standing out there in their underwear, throwing rice at you as you go out the front door? Yes, I do. Well, excuse me for saying so, honey, but keeping a hope chest in a cat house is the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. Well, not every man's like you, Boone. Some men come to women for comfort and gentleness. They want to talk about their troubles. I listen, and they like me. My hope is that one day one of them will like me enough. Well, we know one thing, don't we, Boone? Won't be you, will it? Oh, uh, well, all I want to do is just spend a dollar and have some fun. Any crime in that? Boone, you can't be greedy about Corey's time this trip. We've got a lot of conventions in town. Policemen, firemen, elks, we're going to be real busy. <laughs> you go up and take a nice cold bath, cool yourself down. Then come back and show us how handsome you are. You never saw anything like that before. Yes, I have. You have? Let me 
Mrs. Fletcher down the block. She forgot to put down her window shades one minute. Well, it's a mystery, that's for sure. It's all a mystery. Come on, I'll drive between your shoulder blades. You know, I guess you and I have been friends ever since we've known each other. From the time I used to carry you around on my back in the livery stable to holding you on the first horse you ever rode. I guess that's right. And here you are, a night away from your mama's house, learning to drive an automobile for the first time. And your first trip into the big city. Any boy has done all that. Can handle anything. Like what, Boone? Well, you'll notice that there's a lot of ladies staying here at this boarding house. Don't any men live here? Well, don't any men actively live here. Except Mr. Binford. Just men visiting their lady folks, you know. Kind of quiet and polite like. You, uh, you follow me? Well, I will if you just get on with it. All right. Well, here it is. Some folks back in Jefferson would say you're not old enough to know about these things. Well, I say you are. I say there's some things a boy can learn that he never even knew about before. So that later on in his life, when he needs them, he's already got them. See, there ain't nothing you don't learn that later on in life you might need it. And when that day comes, well, you can thank your lucky star that your good friend Boone helped you. Does that make any sense to you? Some. Some's good enough for the time being. Glenn? Hmm? I went back to see Mrs. Fletcher again. And her husband came out on the porch with his bulldog. Be sure and say please and thank you when they pass things. I want you to meet Otis, Miss Corey's nephew. How do you do? How do you just find from left to it? Our Mr. Binford should be with us any moment. He doesn't like us to begin without. He's probably waxing his mustache to keep it up out of the soup. That'll do, Otis. <laughs> Dinner's getting cold. I'm getting hungry. That's his step now. Ladies and gents all, hash time. <laughs> Evening, Moon. Evening. This is a friend of mine, Lucius Priest McCaslin. How do you do, sir? Your hopes are dashed because you are. It costs you 25 cents in the box. Well, I don't think that's fair. Miss Reba? Those are the house rules, Phoebe. A house without rules is not a home. Damn it, the I... The trouble with you bitches is that you got to act like ladies some of the time, but you don't know how. I'm learning you how. Damn it, Mr. Benford, I don't think that's fair. I really don't. I feel that if you want to... Now, you put two bits in the box and sit so we can get some peace around here. Oh. All right, now, Miss Reba. Tell Minnie to get some beer. Lily, bring some beer. I want some beer, boy. You a beer head? Uh -uh. No, sir, I don't drink beer. He drinks beer, don't you? Yes, sir. I drink anything that's put in front of me. 